Biden's terrible performance today. It was meant to be the press conference he redeemed himself at, but he failed so miserably. Amanda, it took one question at the start and he started calling Donald Trump uh, the black vice president, Kamala Harris. Um, I think now it's gotten to that stage that whoever is putting him in public like that should be charged right for elder ab abuse oh, absolutely elder abuse but it is what is what's going on so why are they keep doing that it's more than just the fact that they want to win what are they hiding you know because we're all talking about it and we're not paying attention to what's really going on in the country right now so i think someone if they had the time and the money to actually investigate if they don't get shot doing it um, to find out what's really going on but what they're doing to him is absolutely appalling and it's cruel and it breaks my heart to see an, an elderly man with you know obvious issues being absolutely used by not only his family by the democratic party because of their you know greed or whatever reason gary i said at the top of the program we all need a strong america i mean they're our greatest ally we've got china sitting yeah. up there to the north and and making all sorts of aggressive noises about places like Taiwan and, and other places. Uh, how is it that a country that could produce people like, uh, you know, JFK, uh, uh, George W. Bush, Barack Obama, why can they not find two better candidates than these two jokers? Well, look, we certainly need another Ronald Wilson Reagan, who I think was the best president mm. in my lifetime so far, uh, Steve. I mean, that's just my take on it. A lot of people would readily agree with that. Uh, Reagan ended the Cold War. He tore the war down, wall down with Mr Gorbachev. But there's no vision, there's no plan, big plan for the future. Uh, and, and, you know, in a lot of ways, how sad it is that America's been subjected to really a very slow con here. And now everybody knows it. You know, mm. fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. But... This bloke Biden has been hidden away from the public. He won in 2020 because he was hidden in the bunker. COVID gave him the cover. And since then, I don't think he's been running the country. And the serious part about this is it's not whether he can actually contest and win the next election. It's what's going to happen at the next crisis, mm -hmm. the next problem. Who's actually making the decisions? Because evidently he's not. He's reminiscing. He's talking about trying to finish off a job. No, we don't want people to go into Parliament just to finish off a job. We want them to actually set up the next generation for success. Mm -hmm. I see no vision from Joe Biden. I see no certainty about Joe Biden. I'm worried about what his job is going to be like next week, not just simply next year and next term. And I think Americans are starting to wake up to the fact they've been conned over the last four or five years by the Democrats. Yeah, it's been reported today that he hasn't even had a cabinet meeting since last October. So you just don't know how you can run an exactly. economy like America doing that. I want to get on to uh, these reports that show how much our hospitality industry is struggling. Twice as many hospitality businesses like cafes, restaurants going bust as they were 10 years ago. And to add insult to injury, major food supplier, independent food distributors, Australia warns we could soon be facing $10 coffees and $100 steak and chips if nothing gets done about rising costs. Now, Amanda, you're out there all the time. I mean, we're already paying over $5 for yes. a coffee that was costing us probably $3 a year or two years ago. That's right. Everything has gone through the roof. That's right. And they're just the businesses that have stayed open. The ones that have closed and the employees are now unemployed. But yep. we need to always remind people, don't blame the small business for the $10 coffee. Vote the Labor Party out because they're the ones that have decimated the small business community. And if they're in for another term, they will destroy it because it has literally been two years and a thousand businesses are closing per day. You hear one a day, two a day? Oh, Constantly. So every time I'm online and I get messages from people, those who are, aren't shutting down are working 24-7, seven days a week as a family business just to stay afloat. Gary, uh, I was speaking to a bloke who runs a yeah. chain of restaurants a couple of weeks ago. He's paying a barista on Sunday uh, more than $80 an hour. Yeah, and that was a skill I wished I'd taken up. But look, Steve, <laughs> let, let's face it. I, mates of mine who are in small business... Um, a restaurateur I know, he said, mm -hmm. how can I set my price on my menu when I don't know what the price of my wages are going to be? Superannuation mm -hmm. is going up, which is wages for gone. You Insurance. don't get that, you pay back it, but the boss pays it out. Mm -hmm. Insurances have gone up, absolutely. The cost of electricity is a major driver because it's yes. about keeping food cool as well as cooking. Uh, those sorts of things. How can he set a restaurant meal price at the retail end when he doesn't know what his input costs are going to be, you know, six months from now. Plus, he's got to get the 
menus constantly reprinted and that's another cost to the business. So uh, yeah. these are realities the, these Labor union officials running the country currently don't get, don't care about and frankly right. they're only interested Amanda, in we, big business, big unions, big government. We need a, a, a real debate about the taxes that are levied on businesses. Absolutely. It's the number one thing. I did a survey and the number one thing is the taxes on small business and they can't survive and that no one is listening to them. Yep. Their local MPs, their federal MPs are not listening to them and not returning calls or emails. So it's a state issue and a federal yeah, issue. Absolutely. I mean, Payroll tax. Yeah, both state well, and sales, federal. They're not tax. returning their calls or emails and their calls of distress. It's like a deliberate action to shut them down. And so as a community, we yep. need to help each other as much as possible. Gary, what's your upper limit on a uh, skinny latte or are you an almond latte guy? Uh, no, I'll be a skinny one, mate, but a skinny cappuccino. Five bucks uh, 20, if that's what the cost is, you've got to pay it. Uh, I paid that in Sydney the other day, I must admit. Madness. And thought, wow. <laughs> $4 was pretty well the, the standard. Uh, mm. We make ours at home, which is not good for yeah, retailers, crazy. but that's the Amanda, reality. We're all looking for the DIY. Thanks for joining answer. us. Yeah, we are. Good on you, Gary. Always a pleasure <laughs> to catch up with you, mate.